Hi friends. Welcome to this upcycle t-shirt face mask tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this face mask from a t-shirt that I was going to go ahead and give to the thrift store. But since the thrift store ain't accepting for, uh, used items now, might as well upcycle it. So, I'm going to show you how to make it fit from ear to ear and very nicely under your chin as well. And also how it will help your face. This is two layers to where you can see you can insert a filter if necessary. So come join me in making this no sew upcycle face mask during these times of where we need to protect ourselves and others. Come on, let's get started. So the items that we're going to be using is a t-shirt, preferably the largest one you have. I have a ruler. You'll want a pen for this demonstration. I will be using a felt tip marker. And we will also be needing a pair of scissors, the most important part of making this face mask. For the demonstration, because I do not have a filter with me currently, I will be using a piece of paper as demonstration for the placement of our filter. So to begin, take the bottom of your shirt, the side seams on the side, and fold it. Place the fold towards you and then smooth it out. Okay, you can also see where your hem lines is right here. You want to try and smooth that out as well. The first thing that we are going to do, I encourage you to use a pen or a pencil but for this tutorial, I'm using my felt tip marker. Take your ruler and go the full length, making it so that the line that is straight is the same with your fold. Go ahead and place this and draw a line all the way to the end. From our line that we just created, place your ruler on the number nine. Place a mark and come down to the other end. Place it on nine and make a mark again. And draw your line. From the fold here, place your ruler on the number five. We're going to come over hmm, about the length of your finger and place a mark. Come over to a second place along the fold with the number five and place a mark. Then if you have a see-through ruler, you can place it on the inch and a half, or you can measure over an inch and a half and do this for both sides. Then draw your line to fill it in. After you have drawn your line, go ahead and keep your, your t-shirt as flat as possible and cut on these lines. At 
the end here do not cut yet we'll cut those later so cut here 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 and here now from our cut pieces we want to bring them back and find the seam line and cut that out. Here you can see the seam that we cut out. Do that to all the pieces here. Now you can move aside all of the unneeded pieces that we're not going to be using to make our face mask. Go ahead and take your face mask open it up and you'll notice that it does have some width to it. With use as you stretch it you will see how the fabric will start to curl. That is the reason why it is as wide as it is. So the first thing we're going to do here is take these two ends and tie them at all four corners. Do this for the other two. Using my paper as an example for the filter, lift one of the layers of the t-shirt up and place your filter inside. Then take these two ends here, join them together, untwist them if necessary, to the other two, and then tie a knot on the top. To make a square knot, place the left over the top, wrap it under, and snug it up just a little. Then with your tie that's in your left hand now, press it to the right, and then take it and go over and through. And pull it tight. Wrap this around your head and this around your neck, which I will demonstrate now. If you wear glasses, as I do, I suggest you remove them. Then you can take the face mask, place it over the top of your head, take the two ties from the bottom, And tie it as needed in the back. You can adjust this to how you need it and it will fit snugly under the chin and go from ear to ear. Sometimes I like to take mine and place it over the top of my ear but I find that this gives a better fit. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to make this no-sew face mask. Please be safe during this time. Until next time, bye-bye.